Hey guys, what you're about to see in this video is for educational purposes only. Please don't do anything stupid or illegal. I'm not going to be responsible for your actions. Thank you. Hi everyone, and welcome to this Veracrypt tutorial. Today we're going to encrypt a system partition. For this example I'm going to use my Windows machine, but this should work on a Linux and Mac. I'm going to create volume. And this time, choose the third option. Encrypt the system partition or entire system drive. I'm going to hit next. And again, I have the normal or the hidden option. I'm going to leave the default and hit next. Now here again I have two options. I can either encrypt the partition where Windows resides, the C drive, or I can encrypt the whole drive. On this machine I only have one drive, which is a C drive, so I'm going to leave the first option. If you want to encrypt the entire drive, including its partitions, if for example you have C and D, you can choose a second option. I'm going to hit next, and here I have the option of creating several operating systems. We're only using one, so I'm going to choose single boot. Again the encryption options as before, which I'm going to leave at default, and again create a simple password just for the tutorial. Note that I can't use key files because we're encrypting an entire system. I'm going to hit next, ignore the warning, and Veracrypt will again collect random data in order to create the encryption keys. Hit next, give it admin permissions, hit next again, and now Veracrypt created this ISO file. Veracrypt is going to use this ISO file every time in order to boot up the computer and mount it as a virtual drive, just like it did with the flash drive in the container before. Now for obvious reasons, Veracrypt wants me to back up this file and verify it. I'm not going to do that right now, but I strongly recommend you do it if you're using Veracrypt on your system. I'm going to hit next, and I'm getting a notification here that the disk was created. Hit next again, and OK. Now Veracrypt gives me the option of wiping the disk. It is very important to note that deleting files doesn't completely remove the files from your system. We're not going to get into this right now, but simply put, whenever you delete a file, the system just kind of forgets that the data is there and allows new files to overwrite the data that you wish to delete. So even if you deleted a certain file, it is still possible using certain techniques to retrieve the file. By wiping the disk, you eliminate that option as well. Now you can do one pass, three passes, seven, or 35. Of course, the more passes you will do, the more secure the wipe will be. It's important to remember, however, that wiping a disk does wear out the hardware. In our example, I'm just going to skip it and hit none. And now Veracrypt is going to ask me to test the system. So I'm going to hit test, hit OK, and restart the computer. And here is the preboot menu. I'm going to have to put in the password here if I want to proceed. And since we don't have a PIM, I'm just going to hit enter. It's going to verify the password and only then begin to boot up the system. And here we are. Now that the pretest is complete, I can encrypt the drive. Hit encrypt. Hit OK again. Give it admin permissions. And again, I'm going to skip this forward, but it only took a few minutes to encrypt this drive. Hit OK. And finish. Let's make sure that it works. I'm going to restart the computer. And there it is. I'm going to type in our password. Again, no PIM. And once the password is verified, it's going to boot up Windows. Now, even though we just restarted this machine, Veracrypt is still running. And our C drive just became a virtual disk which Veracrypt is already mounted. So of course I cannot close Veracrypt and I cannot dismount this disk because the very operating system of this machine is based on this virtual disk. However, when I'm done using the machine, I can just power it off the same way I always would. That's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more news and updates, visit TomBH.com. See you next time.